Welcome to Storytime with Nana Pam. Hi everyone, it's Nana Pam. Today, I'm reading the book, The Three Little Pigs. Enjoy the story. On the edge of a beautiful forest lived a mommy pig, a daddy pig, and three little pigs. The time had come for the three little pigs to leave home. Watch out for the big bad wolf, warned the daddy pig as he waved goodbye. The three little pigs hadn't walked far when the first little pig grew tired. <sighs> this will do, yawned the lazy little pig. He quickly built a house from straw that was lying nearby. It wasn't long before the second little pig stopped walking and looked around her. This will do, she said, and swiftly built a house from the sticks and branches that were scattered around her. The third little pig walked on and on and on. Finally, he found a pretty area of land by a stream. It was the perfect place to build his house. The third little pig decided to build a strong brick house to keep him safe from the wolf. He drew plans. He bought the best bricks he could find. And finally, after weeks of hard work, he stood back and admired his beautiful new home. Meanwhile, the hungry, big, bad wolf came across the first little pig's resting in his house of straw. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, said the wolf. Not by the hair, my chinny chin chin, cried the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, howled the hungry wolf. So the big bad wolf huffed and he puffed and the tiny straw house came tumbling down. The little pig ran as fast as he could until he arrived at the house made of sticks. The big bad wolf snuck up to the house. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, he growled. Not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins, cried the frightened little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, howled the hungry wolf. The big bad wolf huffed and he puffed and the wobbly stick house came tumbling down. The two little pigs ran on and on and on until they finally reached the third little pig's house. Don't worry, we are safe in my strong brick house, said the third little pig as they heard a bang at the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, said a familiar voice. It was the wolf. Not by the hairs on her chinny chin chins, cried the three little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, howled the hungry wolf. So the big bad wolf huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but nothing happened. The house didn't even wobble. The wolf was furious and very hungry. He climbed up onto the roof and jumped down the chimney. Splash! Yow! The wolf landed in a pot of boiling hot soup and burned his long furry tail on the fire. He leapt out of the chimney and ran away as quickly as he could. As for the little pigs, they lived happily ever after in their house made of bricks. They never saw the big bad wolf again. The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Until next time, Nana Pam is sending you big hugs. Have a great day.